hello, hello everyone. That was really good. I feel like that was good that time. Was it good? I feel like, I think it was. Today I'm going to be doing an organization video, um, but mainly focusing on school. That's actually the only thing I'm going to be talking about, so. School organization. Um, I find it very important to be organized for school, and I'm wearing a scarf. Huh. I just started organizing my stuff and helping myself to get organized um, because I feel like it's very important to do that. And don't worry, when I have my backpack all ready to go and I'm actually using it on the daily basis, I will do a What's in My Backpack video because I know you guys like those and I've done them before. So if you want to tie yourself over for now, I will link my old What's in My Bag for School video. Video? Video down below. Why not, right? I'm just going to talk about binders right away because I think that's most important. And I only have three binders here, four binders actually, and they're all different. I want to talk about each of them and then tell you what I have inside all of them. First of all, I have to tell you guys, get a freaking agenda ASAP. That's the first thing. Um, It's really important. Oh, 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 I'm going to go school supply shopping, so if you want me to do a school supply haul, um, let me know. I have to pick up a few things. Not a lot, so don't get too excited. But anyways... Get an agenda, folks. That's going to save you. This binder I've literally had since grade 8, and I've used it every year for math. This binder is literally my favorite binder for math because it's big enough, it has lots of pockets, and it's handy. You can put your calculator and whatever else, your quadrilateral, triangle, shenanigans, your geometry set, whatever you need. Um, and it's really nice and big. So that's nice. I also usually store my textbook right inside of here. This is just line paper that I can take notes on or whatever. And then in the back, I have some plain paper in case I need to draw anything because you never know. And then behind that, I have um, these little things, which you'll see in all my binders or most of them at least. These are like little hole rings in case they rip or something. They also are really, really fun to use for nail art. So who would thunk it? But yeah, and then I always have these plastic sheets. Just in case teachers give you something that's not a hole punch and you can just throw it in here and still be organized. So that's always my math binder and as you can see it's just literally nothing in it except for paper. So woohoo. This is one of the nicer binders you can get and I really like these binders. The only thing I don't really like about them is that they're really loud. Like every time. As much fun as it is to pull apart, it's really loud and it's really obnoxious at times. But this is like, that's called the Cadillac of binders, which I find really funny. I don't know if that's supposed to be good or bad. I don't know. I just don't really know cars. Next, I practically live in these notebooks. Oh, that sounds weird. This notebook is just a Hillroy. Used to think that's it, Hillary. Hillroy. I don't know. I can't read. I used to think. No, you probably guys don't know what the magazine is, but there's this magazine called Chatelaine. I used to think it was called Chatline. It's not called Chatline, Emily. But anyways, this notebook is just one of the ones I've had. I have kind of like lying around. It actually has my social stuff from like grade 10. So it's about two years old, but there's still lots of paper in the back. Um, I always have one of these with me when I go to a class because I just find them awesome and like really good because you can write down notes and they're all in one place and you can also rip them out and use the holes. So I really like these and I always have at least three of these at the beginning of the year and if I need more, I buy more. So yeah. I also love folders. These things are awesome because instead of carrying your whole binder home, you can just stick your homework in these little folders and they are lighter and nicer. So I have all my labeled, like this is my psychology one, um, this is my comparative civilization one, and I try to like color code them to my binders, but I don't yet have some of my binders, so I was kind of just like, oh, I don't care. But yeah, so these are my folders. So now I'm going to take you guys over to my desk so you guys can see kind of like my working area and um, where I could carry some school supplies that I have at home, because I think it's important to have stuff at home as well as at school, so let us go over there. So you guys know this is what my desk look like, look like, looks like if you see my room tour. Um, it's just like a white desk from Ikea, nothing really too fancy, but this is where I do my homework most of the time. So this is the, like the drawer where I keep my school supplies and I will show you what's in here. It's really nothing too fancy or anything. I just got these dividers from Ikea when I bought this desk. First over here, it's not really any school supplies. These are just my blue, black, and pencils. This is the pen that Emily is always using because I love these pens. They're the cheapest pens, but they're the best. I don't know why. I love them. They remind me of hospitals. Back here, I just have um, highlighters, and highlighters are very important when you're studying um, because then you can make things stand out a bit from the page, and it's nice. Back here is stuff that I keep at home that I wouldn't bring to school except 
stuff for the whiteout, but like scissors and I have some staples back here. I have tons of whiteout because whiteout is crucial, my friends. Crucial. Then over here, I just have my little paper clips and I love these colorful paper clips because they make everything more fun, I think. Large amounts of cue cards because that's good for study. This is just from staples, I think, and it's supposed to be for like recipes, I think, but I use it for cue cards and you can see I have them labeled by my classes. And you can label them and make them, you know, whatever you need and then just store them in there. And it's good for like at the end of the semester, at the end of the year or whatever, when you're doing a big test just to pull those out and to remember everything. So that's pretty much everything I have in here. Um, that's pretty much how I organize my school supplies at home. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let's get organized for school because you know what? It's way better to be organized than not organized, right? So I hope you guys had a wonderful day and enjoyed my video. And let me know if you've got any video requests because I would love to do them. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.